you look at Aljo, who I think is the most disrespected fighter in the UFC Unbelievable. for a number of reasons. You know, the way he got the belt and then, you know, he beat yeah. TJ Dillashaw. It's not his fault. TJ went in with one shoulder. Aljo just did his job. And then, you know, you look at the, the Henry Cejudo fight, which I didn't think was even close um uh -huh. in any facet um yeah. so y i don't know what it's gonna take for aljo to get the the respect and then you know now you you know they announced the the sugar sean fight happened in august and aljo's like i didn't agree to that so it just it gets he gets more disrespect but it doesn't seem to get to aljo and i think again that's credit to you guys he just he's just doing his thing man He's just doing yeah. his thing where a lot of champions, a lot of guys, it'd be this huge toxic back and forth. And he's like, nah, man, yeah, I'll fight him. I'm not 100%, but yeah, let's do it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, 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 a little, he's pissed. He's actually pissed about that. <laughs> I, I, yeah. That one actually pissed him off. He, he, yeah. Now, no, I understand he, he, he can be pissed, but I, I think these no. guys need to realize that, you know, at the end of the day, UFC is a business, and you got to do what's best yeah. for yourself. You yeah, got to yeah. play the game, but you got to take care yeah. of yourself. And when I say pissed, I don't mean pissed like us three would be pissed. He he's a thinker. Aljo's a thinker. He's he's thinking pissed. He's not like motherfucker. You know, I'm going to kill somebody. <laughs> not not that type of pissed. He's just he thinks it out. And uh, look, he he's surrounded by really good people. He's got great friends. He's got a great family. You know, the whole thing. Like, uh, well, he's, you know, his girl is great. He's going to get married. Yep. Uh, he, he's just in a good spot. Like, I don't think there's any losing at this. point. Hey, and I, I could tell you, if I think the way he's thinking, it's he's already won. He's like, already it, won. He's already won what's yeah. on the Aljo side. I don't know who's yeah. going to beat him. With his skill set, he's also in a good yeah. position where it's not like, all right, well, here's this awful matchup. If you want to get him yeah. out or dethrone him, good luck. Good luck. Yeah, man. well, that's what I love about it. He goes, look, man, you want to do this? I'm going to show up and piss in your Cheerios again. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna be. It's going to be worse. You're going to force me to do something yep. that you think is going to go one way and it's not. And then you're going to be even more mad. Yeah. yeah. Listen, he, and Al just the type of guy, like even when he did an interview, and I can understand if you're promoting a fight, you don't want a guy that's going to be in the main event or whatever being like, I don't know, maybe I'm, I think he, you know, I'm injured or this. I got to see how I feel. I think he's so honest when they ask. Yeah, him. yes. It's without like, oh, well, I just sport, so, you know, let me, you know, I'll make this happen, but let me just, you know, nurse this or whatever. I just think he's an honest guy. But I think he had every intention of fighting. But, you know, listen, either way, I don't think it's a great matchup for Sean, o or Sean O'Malley. Sean O'Malley's got that. He's very accurate. And I think his grappling is underrated. Agreed. I saw him in a uh, nice hey, hey. match where he, yeah. he guillotined the guy. And he they, he took down Jan almost. And he's he's not horrible on the floor. But there is levels. And I think if, if he just needs one takedown, one, he doesn't need Aljo doesn't even need the takedown. No. There's guys that jump up on backs that shouldn't jump up on backs. Yep. A la, a la Chris Weidman, Luke Rockhold, and what out of character. Yeah. Dude, he gets on that back, it's a round winner or a fight ender. And it could be, you know what I mean? So I don't know. And I, I, th I think I think that, w that w that's what makes Aljo special is he knows where he's special at now. Where before it was like, man, Aljo's good at this. He's kind of good at everything. Now we know he's an outlier. Like he knows if he gets on your back, this thing's over, man. Yeah. And bro, I'm going to tell you a funny story too about Aljo because he really, he's too honest. He speaks, <laughs> that's when he's speaking his mind. It's almost like he's thinking as he's speaking. But yeah. they did Fight Pass, did a, came in and did like, I, th I guess, a special on me. They did a, some clip. So they want to interview Matt and Aljo. Aljo walks in. I look at him. I go, Aljo, let me tell you something. Lie. I don't care. Lying is acceptable. <laughs> Just fucking lie. Don't start thinking about, don't overthink what's going on. I, I didn't even give a shit. I go, you, I want to lie. Forget about, <laughs> he'll start breaking it. Then, yeah, I don't know. He was, wasn't looking so good one day. No, seriously. I go, you can't. And I love him. But I go, and he's laughing because he knows. I go, just fucking lie. But more, more, sports, more sports could use that honesty. Like, that's one of the reasons oh, the UFC is so big because you tune in the NFL, NBA, and it's just, you're just getting these cookie cutter answers. Like, nah, man, talk a little smack. Be honest with us. Yeah. Just be honest. And that's why, again, that's why I think Aljo should have more support.